Next.js gets a new release every now and then, and it often contains breaking changes. So there can be occasions when you want to install an older version of Next.js, especially if you prefer the older pages routing system. The normal way to install Next.js is by running the npx create next app at latest command. At latest means it installs the latest available version. And there is no way to explicitly mention the version number with the command, which I feel is weird. Also when it comes to the documentation part, on the documentation site, there is no way to view the documentation for versions older than the previous one or two versions. I am recording this video on October 24, 2024. Next.js 15 was released just a few days before on October 21st, 2024, which came with a few breaking changes. Scrolling down a bit on the blog page, you can notice that Next.js 14 was released one year before on October 26, 2023. Next.js 13 came out on October 25th, 2022. Version 12, October 26, 2021, and so on. So you can see that they release a new major version every year in the month of October. The new app router was introduced in version 13. Suppose I need to install the version that came out just before that, that is version 12.3. I will show you how to do that. First, you need to go to their GitHub repository. Then open the drop down menu and go to the tags tab. Then search for the version number that you want to install. In this case version 12.3. Okay, version 12.3.4. The code you are seeing right here is that of Next.js version 12.3.4. In that there is a folder called examples which contains some sample websites created using this particular version of Next.js. We need to download and install one of these sites and I think the blog starter site is the right one. There is also a hello world site but in my opinion it's too minimal. So let me go with blog starter. If you take a look at the package.json file you can find the versions of the packages installed on this example site. It comes with Tailwind CSS and TypeScript support. You can also just copy this package.json file and run the npm install command. On the other hand, if you need the demo site, you can get the entire directory. However, since this is a git repository, there is no way to download a directory separately. As far as I know, you can only clone the entire repository, which is not required for our use. So we need another way to achieve that. For that, I need to get the permalink of this directory. Click the three dots and copy the permalink to the clipboard. Then go to this site at the address download-directory.github.io. Then paste the permalink from the clipboard. It's a free service that enables you to download a folder from a GitHub repository. Here is the downloaded file which is a zip archive. Extract the archive and move all the files and folders to the parent folder. Ok, now I can delete the archive file and the extracted folder. Then open this directory in a code editor to make some changes. Here I have opened it in Visual Studio Code. Now open the package.json file. Notice that under the dependencies, the next version is currently set to latest. So if you run the npm install command now, it will only install version 15, which is the latest version available now. That's not what we want. So I am changing that to version 12.3.4. You can also notice that there is a caret sign in front of version numbers for some packages. If you don't mind updating to the highest compatible version available, then you can keep the caret sign. That is, if I add a caret sign in front of 12.3.4, then it may update to anything less than version 13. If you don't want that, then remove that to keep the version number fixed. 
Now we are almost ready to install the application. But before that, there is one more thing we need to check. That is the required Node.js version. So open the docs folder and go to the getting started page. There under system requirements, you can find the Node.js version required to install this application. In order to install next 12.3.4, we require Node.js 12.22.0 or later. So I think it's better to use that specific version itself rather than going with a later one. If I open the terminal and check the node version currently installed, you can see that it's 19.1.0. To manage multiple node versions on the same system, I am using a program called NVM, node version manager. I can just install another version by running the command NVM install, in this case 12.22.0. Then switch to that version with the command nvm use 12.22.0 okay now that i have the required node version i can run npm install to install all the packages in the package.json file the installation is complete you can see that there are a few warnings but i don't think that will be a problem so let me try starting the development server npm run dev okay the development server is started on localhost port 3000 yeah it's working and this is how the home page looks like these pages are created using the pages router which was the default routing system in next.js before the app router got introduced in version 13 here is the index file that renders the home page. You can also find the app.tsx and document.tsx files which were specific to the pages router. And here is the dynamic route file slug.tsx in square brackets that renders single post pages. The post contents are stored as markdown files in a separate folder. If you want to learn more about the differences between the pages router and the app router, I have a separate video that you can watch. Also, if you don't mind, tell me in the comments, which routing system do you prefer, the pages router or the app router? You can get rid of all this dummy content and just retain the app structure to build your own application on top of it. So that's how you install an older Next.js version. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.